Hi, in this video I would like to show you how you can generate Word or PDF documents from your Bubble.io app, uh, especially from your data stored in the Bubble.io app. So we'll try to connect this button to a special plugin called Documentero that will generate uh, data, sorry, generate the document based on the data that you can see in your uh, data types and apps data structure in your bubble app so here i have like a simple type products called products and here i have three fields name color and price they're text fields and here i put some <clears throat> sample data like four rows with some different names and we'll try to generate documents based on the based on this data okay so Let's get started. So here I have my button. And first of all, I will try to create workflow. So whenever button is clicked, I will I would like to have an action. So first of all, we need to install the plugin. The plugin that we need is Documentero. Okay. Okay. Uh, so here now I can add documentero generate docx PDF. We will pick this action here. Here I can select the output format. I will pick PDF file. And here we have to configure our template ID and template data. But first of all, we need to provide API key. So to get API key, uh, you need to create a documentary account and here in the right top corner you can go to your account settings get the key and provide it here this is like one time action only so you don't have to do that second time uh, when you create some more more flows because it's stored in your plugin configuration so i will go back to my workflow and I will try to configure it. So here I have already provided API key, so I need to configure my template, document template, and configure how I would like to pass my data from Bubble to Documentero. So let's start with creating a document template. I will go back to the documents. And here is a list of your document templates. Uh, you can create a new one clicking on this button online, or you can upload the uh, document template docx format from your disk we'll pick this option here so i will try to create some simple uh, simple template that will match my structure so here i create the section so this part of the document will be repeated and i will put some Field names. Okay, we'll do some fancy formatting. Contact price can be bold and orange product name could be like this. And here We can do something else. Okay, so I slightly formatted my document template here. I can put some title here, bubble. I can put some extra field here out of the section so here i have a document template uh, defined there is some field to map and the section the repeatable section here with three sub fields that would like to change for each section i hope it's clear so far so i will create a new template here i will call it products list And after a few seconds, the platform should 
analyze this template and when I go to the template overview I can see that I have one field and one section with three subfields. I will change output format to PDF. Okay, and here I will go to the generate using API JSON and I will expand this uh, this thing here and this is all the data that I need to copy more or less to bubble IO plugin to, to make it working. So we'll start with uh, copying the document template ID and we need to put it here. Secondly, we will create, we will grab the structure that is expected to generate the document uh, to this field. And that would be it, I guess, from copying part. So this field will skip it like so. Um, we can map, map this, but I, I will skip this part test from bubble. And in this, in this video, we'll focus on how to bind like a list of items uh, here from my data structure. So for now, I will just remove this part. I will cut it so it will be in my clipboard. And here in this array, we will insert dynamic data. And I will pick uh, do search for products. So I will select one of the data types. And here, this is really important part. Uh, you need to find Mm. format as text okay i got it and here the new panel appears and you need to paste this part that you we would like to repeat this is really important also you need to put the delimiter here which is comma so for each element in my collection in data uh, baba will repeat this part uh, comma separated. So here I need to connect all the um, all the fields with the fields in my data collection. So let's do that. This product's name I will pick formatted as JSON save. Product color will be the same. Mm hmm. Okay, and product price. Let me let me do the same. So we bind we binded all the all the fields in my products data type uh, in this part. Okay, I guess we have everything set here. Uh, so I can just close this part. I can add. Uh, one more step just to make sure that we we can we have a way to download this document so here I will just map result of step one and we will just navigate to the link to download the document after generation just to see the results okay I guess all is set so Let's test our workflow and let's see if this data will go to our document template. Okay, I'm in the preview mode and I clicked this button and the workflow is currently happening and let's see what we will get. Okay, perfect. I see the document appeared and I have all the data in the format that I configuring documentary and I have generated PDF document here. So there is a lot of advanced stuff you can do with the product templates, sorry, with the document templates. So you can conditionally so show some stuff here. You can also configure it the way that it will be sent to some specific email. Uh, but this is like a separate things. I, I guess for this video, that would be it. I hope it was helpful. So thank you. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put some comments under this video. Thanks. Bye.